Okay, now uh, today we're gonna learn the rest of the part in the lesson uh, C. Drake my top 10 rule for success. Okay, now what do you learn from the native Drake Ma said in the video? The native, we yeah. haven't have learned have learned this age. The seven tips. Seven tips. Yeah. The same, uh, the things I learned after after learn the tips seven seven tips is always put customer on the top and the second <coughs> is employee. Hmm. No, no, I just want to ask you, what did you learn from all the tips we learned yesterday? Uh, all the tips? Yeah, all the things you learned yesterday is... Uh, what do you learn from Jake Ma? What do you learn from Jake Ma? <laughs> what did I learn from Jake Ma? Uh -huh. I learned how... how... Uh, Okay, yeah, we have uh, nine tips in the video. Okay, now, mm. the, okay, looking back at the transcript again, in the beginning till nine, and, uh, mm, okay, can you tell me something you will learn from the lesson? Don't complain, look for opportunities. Don't complain. Don't com look for. Uh, yeah, look for opportunity. That's all. Anything else? Um. Have a good name. Have a good name. Oh yes, I just wanted you to discuss more about this. Why do you have a good name? Uh, don't complain, look for opportunities. What does this mean? Em nói thêm về những thông tin về nó đi. Em nói như nào? Oh, okay. Why I have, I need to have a good name. Yeah. Well, we need to have an interesting name. A good name, an easy name to let, that can, my customer can, Rem easily to remember our name. Mm, easy to remember our name. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. And uh, mm. when someone mentioned to that name, they another people can know about that name. Yeah, okay. It's a global name. And uh, why why did Jake Ma um, say the customer is the number one in his company? Because customer is a people who are who are paying money for the company. Okay. Yeah. yeah because they they earn money they earn money from the customer. So Okay, that's true. They need to Okay, and the next. Mm. Now, uh, where is the trouble? Where is the opportunity? What does this mean? Where is the trouble? Where is the opportunity? Um, I mean, the opportunities is always in the trouble. And we need to struggle with struggle with it, and then we will find the opportunity on it. Mm, okay. All right. So we always find opportunity in the in the trouble. Okay. okay. Mm, now, uh, stay focused on. Mm -hmm. Why do we need to focus on something? Because we have we. Had, our goal we have passion we need to focus on it mm. and we stay focused because we 
cannot let the outside things uh, afraid to to the our person. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we need to focus on one thing because uh, if we say yes to everything, we say yes with everybody. Mm, all right. Now. Mm, okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, get inspired. Mm. Do you think our inspirational or motivational movies will give you more energy? Ah uh, yes, I think inspirational movie will give me a lot of motivation. Mm, yeah. And the inspirational person of the movie. They, they give me inspirational content, and the way, the way they, the way they speak, they talk to me, make makes me feel, make me give me a lot of energy. Mm, okay, I'll give you a lot of energy. Okay, mm, and uh, <clears throat> okay, sometimes I watch your inspirational movie. Mm -hmm. I learn from this a lot of things, knowledge, uh, and it will give me more energy mm, to uh, help me achieve my goals. Okay, now uh, the tip number four ignore a uh, little man. You know the little man. How do you feel if someone say, "Oh, you are so stupid"? If you have a good idea, when you have a good idea, someone come and say, "Oh, you are so foolish. You are so stupid." Uh, as the first, I think I wouldn't feel sad. Mm. And but then I will. I will continue do it. Mm -hmm. You will continue do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you need to uh, ignore them. Uh, then listen to them and keep moving forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the tip number two: keep your dream alive. What is your dream now? What is my dream now? My dream is. In the future, I can build a restaurant. Mm, yeah. Open a new restaurant. Open a new restaurant. Okay. Um, and uh, why do you need to keep your dream alive? I think we need to keep the dream alive because we always have a dream and we need to chase that dream. Mm hmm okay we need to and change then, our dream yeah and then we need we have the road to uh, to uh, to achieve to achieve <coughs> the okay. dream uh yeah maybe uh Keep your dream alive. We can we can't live without dream. Now you have a dream. Got to mm. follow your dream. Follow your heart. And um, I think everything start in one dream of somebody else. And uh, if you have dream, I think you can achieve anything you want. <coughs> okay. I hope you will uh, make your dream come true. Open your own restaurant, okay? Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. That so, do what do you think if if people have their own dream in the thirty years old? 
people had a dream in 30 years ago, or 30 years? 30, year, 30 years old. 30 when, years. They, when they are 30... When they are, they, when they are 30, they, they had a dream or they lose yeah, it? Yeah, they... Yeah. And they, they fly a new entertaining things. <laughs> and get... they want to give up the things they they have and mm. uh, okay you mean uh, when they are 13 years old and they find their interesting thing they want to follow and they quit the uh the previous job and uh, find another job right uh, right okay uh yes i think uh it's not too late if you uh, follow your dream uh, because uh, the most important thing is you need to uh, feel happiness with your choice and uh, I think um, yeah maybe you were uh, you, you were uh, 60 or 70 years old it's not too late to follow your dream uh, 30 yeah I think it's not too late But uh, if you change your job, uh, uh, I think you need to be the best uh, in the time when you were 16, uh, is when you were uh, six, when you were 30 or 40 years old. And after 40 years old, I think you need to uh, find the, the thing you can do the best. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if you change your job after uh, 40s, you will have a lot of breaks, take a lot of breaks. Tức là sau khi cái tuổi 40 mà mình thay đổi công việc là mình sẽ gặp rất nhiều cái rủi ro. Mm -hmm. When 30 to 40 is okay. Uh. Cái bài này Jack Ma cũng có nói một lần rồi. À, tức là ông nói uh. rằng cái tuổi từ uh, 18 thì uh, hãy cố gắng trở thành một cậu học trò tốt. <cười> sau khi tốt nghiệp đại học thì hãy tìm một công ty vừa thôi để làm đừng làm công việc công ty nó to quá bởi vì lúc đấy bạn đã không học được nhiều nhiều đâu còn cái thời điểm từ 30 và đến khi 30 tuổi là mình chỉ biết mình muốn gì rồi và đến 40 tuổi thì mình phải biết là à, mình phải giỏi trong lĩnh vực đấy rồi và đến năm ngoài 40 tuổi thì lúc đấy mình đã gọi là chắc rồi thì lúc đấy mà mình lại chuyển công việc nữa thì mình sẽ gặp rất nhiều rủi ro bởi vì lúc đấy là thật sự là um, xã hội nó thay đổi rất nhanh và lúc đấy mình chuyển vào công việc lúc đấy mình vẫn chưa biết mình muốn gì mình giỏi cái gì thì sẽ rất là khó bởi vì mình chuyển từ công việc trong công việc kia nó phải mất thời gian thích nghi làm quen thì chính vì vậy là mình phải mình phải tìm được cái mà mình giỏi nhất và mình trở thành the best trong cái đó xã hội này nó xã hội này nó sẽ đẩy xa tất cả những người nào mà làng nhàng và người tầm thường và nó sẽ tôn vinh những người nào mà người ta thực sự giỏi và chỉ có giỏi thì mình mới tồn tại thôi còn nó ví dụ như ngày hôm nay mình làm công việc này xong ngày mai ba năm sau mình lại làm công việc khác xong mình cứ làm được khoảng một vài năm mình lại chuyển thì ta tự là chả cái gì mình giỏi hết thì cả đời mình cứ vậy thôi chính vì vậy là anh mới nói rằng là khi mà em học một cái ở trường ấy thì thật sự là học rất nhiều môn em sẽ cân nhắc tham khảo okay, okay. And uh, if you uh, want to be a best seller and you need to get a lot of rejection, nếu mình muốn trở thành một người bán hàng tuyệt vời thì mình cũng phải chịu rất nhiều cái sự từ chối. Of course, <cười> got a lot of rejection. Okay, you okay. okay. got rejection. All right, now the final parts. Have a passion. Have a passion. Oh, no. Have a have passion. Today, oh. mm. Mm, we are all here to discuss what we should do in the next five to ten years. So, what will Alibaba become in the future? Since we were looking on China page, I've always said our competitors are not domestic websites but overseas website 
our competitors are not in China, but in American Silicon Valley. So first, we should position Alibaba as a global website, not just a domestic website. Second, we need to learn the hardworking spirit of Silicon Valley. If we go to work at 8 p.m. a.m. and go to home at 5 p.m., this is not high-tech company and Alibaba will never successful. If we have that kind of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. spirit, then we should just go and do something else. Americans are strong at hardware and systems. But on information and software, <coughs> China brains are just as good as they. All of our brains are just as good as they. This is the reason we dare to compete with Americans. If we are a good team and know what we want to do, one of us can defeat 10 of them. We can beat government agencies and big famous companies because we of our innovative spirit. Otherwise, what is the difference between us and them? Everybody knows the <coughs> internet is a bubble that keeps getting bigger and bigger. But when it bursts, Yahoo stock will fall and eBay stock will rise. And maybe after eBay stock will rise, Alibaba stock will rise. Don't worry. The dream of the internet won't bust. We will have to pay a painful price in the next three to five years. It is the only way we can succeed. So the goal is Alibaba win IPO in 2002. Thank you guys for watching. The question of the day for you is, I want to know what kind of license you were had to overcome in your life and in your business. If you had to overcome a lot of license, you have a special story to share. I'd love to hear from you if you want to leave a comment below. <laughs> mm. eh? Okay. I make this video on Zegma because Zep Lee Young asked me to. So if there a if there's a famous entrepreneur that you want me to pro for, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and I will see what I can do. And of course, if you like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to the Lester and the channel. Thank you for watching. Continue to believe. Have an amazing day and I hope you will start the day with again with the tomorrow with another inspirational video. video. Now what is your passion? Why do you, we need to have a passion when you do something? We have we need to have a passion because when we Inserted in it. Mm -hmm. um, have a person. We need to insert it in it. Mm -hmm. We need and to insert it in it. Uh, why is the passion is important in our life? Because we, if we don't have a passion, we we do the things we we don't really like it. Okay, we don't really like it. And then, and then we will feel um, okay. feel 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 none. Feel nan. Uh, feel nan. Feel nan. Feel feel tired. Feel bored. Okay. Feel worry. Um. I uh, guess. Okay. So. Uh, 
I, I think passion, passion is the thing you want to do till you die. Okay, maybe you want to help a lot of people. You want to to um, have a better life. You want to uh, be a person. You want to be someone. You want to do good at something. You want to do. Uh, that's a passion. And passion is much more important in our life because uh, we will feel happy when you do it. And we will feel uh, your full fulfill of life. Yeah, we do what we love. And uh, okay, yes, if you do what you love, you will get more energy when you do. Uh, I think. Mm, you will best when you have a passion. Uh, what about you? What is your passion now? What a passion? My passion. Yeah. What is my passion now? Yeah. What is your passion now? Now my passion is in. Okay, you don't know that. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> think about it carefully before you do something, before you do something new, or yeah, you want to do the next thing. Uh, I think you, you have to, I, yeah, you have to find your passion before you do something, before you do something new. Mm -hmm. If you feel passionate on it, uh or maybe you uh, you have to do a lot of things to find your passion. Oh, I feel I don't feel interested in it. I feel interested in something like this, like that, mm. or not. Mm. Okay, you just you usually uh, you only do it fight uh, when you do it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Do you have any questions for the lesson? No, I don't have. Okay, yes, that's all. Thank you for today. Okay, see you on tomorrow. Goodbye.